All right, a common question I always get in my comments, DMs, and email is how do you record live with all those plugins and BSTs? And the answer is low latency. No, so what is latency? So latency is the little lag or delay that occurs when you record or play an instrument to what you actually hear. So for example, this next clip is gonna demonstrate exactly what latency is. So this is latency. As you can hear, there's little delay from when I speak to what you hear. That is latency, right? So hopefully that helped you understand what exactly latency is. Now we're gonna talk about how to reduce or just get rid of latency entirely. So let's hop into my favorite DAW, FL Studio, and we'll go from there. All right, so now that we're in FL Studio or your favorite DAW of choice, you're gonna to wanna to go to your DAW's options, hit the audio section, and then now we're gonna be focusing on this main area. So basically these settings are the most important settings to minimize or reduce latency. And first things first, we want to select our device. So if you're using a USB microphone, you may not need to select the device. Or for me, I have a audio interface. Also, if you use an interface like a Scarlett or Apollo, make sure you go to their website and download their drivers for your computer. So I'm gonna select my device. And my device is a Scarlett Solo, so I'm gonna select that. And the next thing you want to select your sample rate. Make sure to keep your sample rate at the lowest possible sample rate, only because once you start to increase your sample rate, it's gonna be more taxing on your computer and start to introduce latency and crackling and just performance issues. So keep it at the lowest possible sample rate. And the next and probably most important is the buffer length. So as you can see, my buffer length is at three milliseconds. This is very low. And the reasoning is you wanna keep your buffer length as low as possible that your computer can handle, of course. And then once you start mixing and playback, you can increase this all the way up to whatever you would like. But generally when I'm recording, I like to keep it as low as possible. And for my computer, it can handle technically all the way up to one millisecond, but I don't like to keep it on one millisecond because I like to give my, my laptop a bit of room to breathe. All right, so I'm gonna keep it around three and also keep note of this little status tab. This will give you the overall millisecond after the plugins and everything, which is what matters the most. After you've done that, you shouldn't be dealing with any more latency issues, but there are a couple other things that you need to look out for to reduce or eliminate latency, right? So another thing that causes input delay and latency when you're recording or playing an instrument, it's gonna be intensive plugins and BSTs. So as you remember, in our settings, right, the status tab shows our overall latency millisecond. And right now it's showing two milliseconds, which is great and good enough for recording. But once we start adding plugins, you're going to see that in our settings, it changes. Now we have nine milliseconds, which is still acceptable for recording. You know, but generally you want to stay under 10 for recording. Another tip, especially if you're recording live with these plugins, if you're using intensive plugins or VSTs like Autotune, for example, they usually have a setting that's going to offer low latency. So in Autotune, I always have this checked, this low latency option checked because I don't want to record with latency, you know, and without this checked, recording with Autotune is pretty much impossible. Unless you want to use one of their other plugins called, uh, I think it's Autotune Real Time. This is Autotune Real Time. Uh, I believe this Autotune was designed to be recorded with live. So if you really want to reduce latency with Autotune, definitely use Real Time over Autotune Pro. Pro does the job just fine enough for me. You know, and another tip is if you hover over these plugins and you look at the top left, you'll see that it actually tells you how much latency it's adding. So Autotune is adding 2.5 milliseconds of latency. So, you know, so that's just another thing to keep in mind. With all that new information, you should be now good to go to record. And um, I'm going to be showing you guys an example of how I record live with these plugins. Now, I already have my beat loaded up in the playlist. Uh, this is what it sounds like. You know, so I have my buffer link at three milliseconds it all the way down to one it still works but you can hear visible crackling and i don't like that in my recording so i'm gonna give my computer a little bit of breathing room and go back up to three you see it preset huh. i get this thing bitch i get this dope i just hit this hole now she all on go i just count this money i just count of dope i just hit it once i just hit a whoop i didn't even like do it again like fucking her friend like she wanna ride my, but in her pain like, him to be like, she wanna ride my, yeah. We're up in that Rory, we're up in that. Let's go to Alice. Let's do something Bitch, I get this thing, bitch, I get this dope. I just hit this hoe, now she all on go. I just. 
Bitch, I get this damn, bitch, I get this dope. I just hit this hoe, now she all on go. I just count this money, I just count the dope. I just hit her once, I just hit her rope. I didn't even like, do it again like, fucking her friend like, she wanna ride my, fucking her friend like, hitting them be like, she wanna ride my. In that raw, it's where I've been at Hit that bitch up good, no she don't have none answer everybody's question that is how i record with effects on low key i feel like these alice would sound even crazier if i pan them left to right brown motion but you can also use a footy panomatic it does the same thing I don't know if you guys can hear that after the change. It sounds even crazier when I pan it left to right, but that'll do it for this video. And if you guys want this preset as well as many others, I'm currently running a buy one, get one free sale. So if you buy one and add another one, you get the second one for free. Um, I'm running it for a limited time. Also, if you guys would like your song mixed and mastered, I do offer that service on the website, but that is it.